chemistry part 2 so here we will discuss hybridization and geometry in part 1 we have some preliminary idea about carbanon and now we are going to discuss hybridization and geometry for part 1 uh, you can get that in the description box playlist link is there hybridization and geometry so first we will see simple carbanon that is when it is alkyl carbanon like R3C minus like this now in this case these R groups as they are simply alkyl groups there is no neighboring conjugating groups so suppose if I say methyl three methyl groups are attached to C like this provided all these R groups are alkyl groups so in this case the configuration it may be pyramidal that is sp3 now why I am saying is pyramidal why I am not saying tetrahedral because out of the four positions in one position there will be the lone pair so that is why it without the lone pair the remaining shape is pyramidal so when it is sp3 hybridized it is pyramidal shape and when it is sp2 hybridized then it is planar fine now it may be either sp3 or sp2 or something in between and that depends on what kind of R groups we will we will have in the structure okay so it is not fixed that it will always be pyramidal or always be sp2 no it is not like that in carbocotton we have seen it is sp2 right but here that is not the case so it may be something in between also or sp3 or pure sp3 or pure sp2 so here we have these two extreme pyramidal carb carbonyl and planar carbonyl so planar carbonyl here we have sp2 hybridization that means carbon when will form bond with these three r groups it will use three sp2 hybrid orbital and the p orbital which is not taking part in hybridization that will carry that is pure p orbital that will carry this electrons fine and when it is pyramidal carbonyl now all these four positions that is 3 sp3 hybrid orbital carbon will use for bond formation with 3r groups and the fourth sp3 there will be these uh, electrons fine so on energy ground that is out of these two which one is preferred on energy ground the pyramidal configuration would be preferred why it is so because according to Bain's rule placement of carbonic lone pair that is in general if you consider Bain's rule lone pair will prefer that orbital which is having more S character so in this case this carbonic lone pair of electrons in an or it should be present in an orbital where significant S character is present so when it is sp3 the lone pair is present in sp3 hybrid orbital but when it is sp2 the lone pair is present in pure p orbital that means in this case pyramidal case i mean is S character is high so that is why on energy ground according to Bain's rule explanation pyramidal configuration would be preferred now if it is pyramidal standard angle we know 109 degree 28 minute but in this case the bond angle it is in this range 97 to 100 degree and why it is so see here because of this lone pair and here we also have bond pair of electrons there will be repulsion between these two so because of this LPBP repulsion now we are not getting 109 degree so now the bond angles it will be much less which is present in this range 97 to 100 in this pyramidal uh, configuration inversion is possible okay and same type of inversion we also see in case of R3N that is trialkyl M. So same type of uh, inversion that we observe in tertiary amines we can see here also. So here you can see inversion this is before inversion this is after inversion so now the position of this lone pair it is downward right. Now when R group is H that means CH3 minus the barrier of inversion is 2 kilocalorie per mole but when it is CF3 minus now the value is increased tremendously from 2 now it is 1 to 0 kilocalorie per mole so this higher energy barrier when we have fluorine that is trifluoromethyl carbonyl it is because of this fluorine atom it is electronegative so it will be more stabilizing compared to hydrogen atom 
right another example also you can consider so in this case two r groups as if it is part of a ring so this is one r group second r group and the third r group this is also electronegative so2 ph so here the value is 17 which is in between 2 and 1 2 0 so in this case also because of its electron withdrawing power it will stabilize this configuration so inversion will be there but energy barrier is high that is rate of inversion that will be less compared to the situation when we have ch3 minus Now, if we have some conjugating groups in R, so until now we have seen alkyl groups, right? When we have conjugating, neighboring conjugating groups like CC double bond, C double bond rho, or it may be CC double bond, which is part of benzene ring, then what will happen? Now, carbonyl will prefer planar configuration. So, there will be dehybridization from sp3 to sp2. Now, why it will prefer planar uh, configuration? Because only in sp2, because in sp2c this lone pair it is now present in p or p orbital which is not part of hybridization so as a p orbital has more suitable shape and orientation to overlap with the neighboring pi system so as there is cc double bond present or c double bond o present in this r groups and to have proper conjugation obviously this lone pair if it is residing in p orbital it will be favorable here we can see these examples, allyl system. So here R group, 2 R group H, but 1 R group you can see it is containing CC double bond. So here this lone pair, if it is taking part in conjugation, so the next structure will be, now the negative charge is here, CH double bond CH2. Okay, so now, Previous structure is H2C double bond C H CH2 minus but because of resonance now we are getting another structure. So if we want to get this type of conjugation which is obviously a source of stability now con hybridization that should be sp2. Similarly we can have another example which is enolate system. So in enolate system now this negative charge that is a carbonyl, it should be sp2 hybridized because then only this lone pair electrons, it is present in p orbital and it can take part in conjugation. That is, uh, conjugation means that is a neighboring pi system like this and that is possible only when this lone pair is present in p or p orbital. So, in this case, uh, CC double bond is present, allyl system. In this case, the neighboring group, that is, if you consider this carbonyl, we have one methyl group. We have one hydrogen and the third R group is containing C double bond O. And the third example, here also we have CC double bond as R group, but that is part of a benzene ring. So just like ally system here also, conjugation is possible. So sp2 hybridization, that will be favored in this case. What about alkynyl and alkynyl? So when it is alkynyl, that is the negative charge that is present over a carbon which is already a part of double bond like this. Now what will happen? It is alkynyl and alkynyl means it is part of triple bond. Okay, only one substituent. In this case, we have two substituents both side and alkynyl only one substituent. Now in this case, it will be sp2, sp hybridization respectively. That means first case it is sp2, a second case it is sp. Okay. So now we will summarize all this, whatever we have discussed. So if it is alkyl carbonyl, we have seen it is uh, pyramidal. So just take the simple example CH3 minus, though it can vary depending on what kind of R groups present, but we have seen on energy ground according to Bench rule, pyramidal is preferred because lone pair prefers to remain in orbital which is having more S character. So alkyl carbonyl, it is pyramidal, it is sp3 hybridization and how we can explain this hybridization so carbon it is having four valence electron but as it is negative carrying negative charge so there will be one more extra electron and that i am writing like this fine now if it is sp3 hybridization that means one s and three p all together there will be hybridization and now we will get total four sp3 out of this four sp3 three electron that will be used for bond formation with sigma bond formation with three r groups 
So I am simply writing 3H. So these electrons that will be used for bond, sigma bond formation with hydrogen atom. And the fourth sp3 that will contain this lone pair. So this is the case for alkyl carbonyl. Now next, if it is alkynyl carbonyl, that is this one, negative charge is present over carbon, which is already a part of ring, uh, sorry, part of CC double bond. So in this case, it will be bent because it is sp2, but in one position there is lone pair. So if you omit the lone pair, that is without it, it, it is as if having bent shape. So how we can explain here, that is the sp2 hybridization. So just like the previous picture, here also four valence electron for carbon, but as it is carrying negative charge, so one more electron I am writing here. Now it is sp2, that means 1s and 2p that will be undergoing hybridization. And this is pure p orbital, which is not part of hybridization. So this orbital, the electron that is present here, it will be used up for this pi bond formation. Here we have one pi bond, one sigma bond, another sigma bond and the third sp2 that is carrying lone pair. So we are getting one sp2 which is forming a sigma bond, suppose this sigma bond, then another sig electron sigma bond suppose with this. The third uh, sp2 that is containing the lone pair and this p which is in different color green. So different color I have used, blue for sigma, lone pair red and green for pure, that is uh, electron which is not undergoing hybridization. So this is residing in pure P, which will be taking part in this pi bond formation. And what about alkynyl? So alkynyl, you can see negative charge is present over carbon, which is part of triple bond. So in this case, it is linear. It is sp hybridization. So two positions for sp, but one position there is lone pair. So without it, remaining position as if it is only one carrying one substituent. So that is why it is linear. We will explain the hybridization. So see, four electron, valence electron for carbon. Now one extra electron I will write here. One s and one p will undergo hybridization. We will get two sp. One sp will be utilized for sigma bond formation. So suppose it is sigma bond, this is any R group, there is pi bond, there is pi bond. So 1 sigma, 2 pi. So 1 sp is involved in sigma bond formation. Another sp is carrying this lone pair and these two green color, pure p orbital, they are not, this is pure p, this is pure p, they have not taken part in hybridization and this will be involved in this pi bond formation. So in this way we can explain hybridization in alkyl carbonyl, alkynyl carbonyl and alkynyl carbonyl. So I hope now you have clear idea about hybridization geometry for carbonyl intermediate. So that's all I have in this video for you and uh, thank you for listening.